videotaping it? Sure. Right here, <clears throat> this building is the dining hall. All right. And it's heated and air conditioned. So, and I asked, and they said we could uh, serve drinks and like coffee and tea in there. Okay. And get people out of the sunshine. And this is which building is this? That's one of the dormitories. Okay. Um, hmm. All close. Yeah. There's two yeah. dormitories, right? Well, there's another dormitory up up here, and then beyond that are a couple of what are called cabins, which, uh, okay. which have more like individual rooms. Which, that's what I actually looked at. All right, and you said there's a pavilion. Right down here is one uh, of the outdoor pavilions. Yep. And what's the building? What's the, that's some kind of an amp uh, it's an amphitheater, amphitheater, which I don't really think we need. There's room for 200 people to sit there, though. Ian, if get, something strikes your fancy, there you go. Just get a picture. <clears throat> I think even if we didn't rent it, you know, we could sit up there. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. Because it's not something like we're not going to use a sound system or anything like that. But inside the gymnasium is also a stage. There's a chapel, yep. And that's a chapel, and the chapel is open on Sundays, for, so you don't have to rent that. Okay. You have a little discussion. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I like this. It's a beautiful setting, John. Like you say, there's not... No neighbors. I didn't see much at all. No. Anyone coming in? Great pond. Oh, I've never walked it. Shane okay, might have walked it. Uh huh. I don't recall. But <clears throat> back in there, so I mean, it's a little. Yeah. Meditative walk. Yeah. This is what I want to build over on. The other one pavilion is at the other end of the kind of camp. I just felt like we rented both of them. We kind of controlled the, yeah. <laughs> the space. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Even if we weren't going to use it. So we're back at the dining hall. And that, I assume, that's the gym way down there. The building that's up. The green and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. There's the gym. And there's no, the other dorms are to the left of it over About there. 150 meters from here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, what's it got, John? It's a memorial to uh, Edward Minter Fortson in loving memory and thanksgiving to Edward Minter Fortson, October 11, 1900 to June 30, 1990. He made Fortson Youth Training Center a reality instead of a dream. Beginning in 1963 until his death in 1990, he gave of himself and his resources. <clears throat> his interest and belief in the camp Fortson will never cease. May we never disappoint. Interesting. All right, so there's the field. Yep. All right, so we're approaching the gym, and the field is off here on the right. And the other pavilion is uh, up here. Oh, okay. We're Good. kicking cables at this one. So this is the other dorm, big dorm here. There's the first dining hall that we saw there. I'm just looking back down towards the amphitheater.
I think yeah, I think it comes down on the other side by the lake too, I think it's a path. But I thought we could probably perform all the forms outside. Yep. The gym, which is the building that people are in right now, it's a 10,000 square foot building. Hmm. Uh, and has a concrete floor. It has heating but no air conditioning. There are some ventilation fans and the big fans in the end of the building. Yep. It has bathrooms in it. Now, if the weather's like this, it's probably nice and this is the same time of year we're talking about this is one of the dorms all right so there's the pool that I've gone and looked at and there's another one like this but there's um it has individual rooms and I think it holds, each, each cabin holds 28 people to sleep in it, and each room has its own bathroom. So there's like six rooms in there. Wow, so that cabin there is meant to hold 28 people? I, I think that's what it was. Wow. It might have 27 back there. But potentially we could have two cabins. Yeah, and that's probably, uh, well, there's another cabin up there, yeah, John. But like the front room has, they call it the adult room, so they're, they're not bunk beds. Like two people can sleep in that. And then the rest of the rooms have multi bunks residents, I think. Ah, uh, okay, so maybe it's here. And this is probably a residence right here. Yep. Connex storage. In the back of the dormitory. Well, no, that's not the dormitory. Dining hall. dining hall, there you go. Okay, this is the dining hall. It has heating and cooling, so there is air conditioning that we're hot. You need to get out of that whatever. There's restrooms. That's the food prep. Potentially, you could set something up, you know, on the last day or whatever. It's all raining. People could come in. <coughs> all right, so the gym's got folding chairs. That's good. That might be useful. Yeah, well, for some people, you know, like the instructors and stuff, they wouldn't want to be toted in case of all of them. They set up tables here for registration and things like that. Yeah. That's your storage. 